I'm Tom Gardner. Uh, I'm the guy, I'm the voice behind the phone that you've spoken to in the last four, five, six months. This is one of my com this is one of my comet gliders. It's an FE200. I think it was um, the straight wing one that I converted to swept. It's about maybe a 25 degree sweep. This is a, a 3.25 inch diane reducted fan, and it's a little bit different than the other um, fans because this is a fan. It's not. It doesn't really have a, a, a per se twist to it. It uh, it's actually it, it takes it grabs the air, the oncoming air, and pushes it back, and actually produces uh, lift over the the blades that that produces thrust to push this plane. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I, I put up about 170, about 510 uh, turns on the rubber. Let's go ahead and fly it. You ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. wow. That was a bad launch too. It fell out of my hands. I think, I think what I need to do, it wasn't bad, was it? No. Oh, oh, that was, that was up. Here's the it, distance. It, 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 it came it, from all the way over there. Yeah, well, it, it fell out of my all hands. I didn't, have, I didn't grip it really good. So I'm going to try it again. Okay. That was uh, test number one. That test was very good. One, yeah. Oh, by the way, the gentleman behind the camera is my brother of Christ, Eric. Jackson. <laughs> Action Jackson, it, it, yeah. if you want to call him. Yeah. <laughs> so, he has my, we, we have a model airplane and rocket club at our church. We just started. Just started it. And I would like to network with certain model airplane and rocket companies. How many turns are you going to give it this time, Brother Tom? About 510. I'll go, I'll go to 170, maybe 180 turns on here. And it's a 3 to 1 step up, so... How about two, just go ahead and do 200? Okay. Alright. 200 turns this time. As you can see, this uh, model glider here flew very well. It actually had a good CG, or meaning center of gravity. It actually was balanced really nice. and stayed airborne for a decent amount of time. So we're going to put a little more cranks. How many turns was that last turn? It was about 170 or 510 full turns. Okay. Well, this thing wants to fly already. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. As you can see, it's quite a lovely day today out here in the neighborhood. Perfect, perfect. Uh, well, it's a little windy, but it's it's cool for I guess the aircraft to kind of keep it in the air a little bit. Well, probably in the 80s today, I think. <laughs> this is a lovely wife, Emily. Hello. <laughs> Here we're at two hundred. Keep give or take. That's that's what two hundred times three is six hundred. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move the stabilator up just a little bit. Okay, let's just count it down on the line so we'll be together. Yep. T minus five seconds. Four. Hold it. The wind's coming up. We'll hold, hold it four. Hold it four. <laughs> T minus four seconds. Hang on here just a second.
We're in a holding pattern right now. Okay, hang on. Okay, Three, two, one. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, that was a bad uh, one. I probably should have threw it up, up, upward a little bit more. Yeah. Allow it to get some lift. Yeah, next time I'll say probably get it, get the nose up a little bit. Yeah. Then let some, let some wind get under, under the airfoil. Yep. All right. Let's try one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time. That first flight was really nice. It went pretty far. Yeah. I think you actually had a better lift pattern that that first flight. You well, had, you had a better. Yeah, it, it actually you had better lift actually the, you threw the, it, the threw it, threw it was better. down a little bit. It actually yeah. gave it. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. She's never seen a little cub fly. I think I think I'm, I I got a battery charge. I might pull the cub out and fly it right out here. Let you you don't see it? I'll let you see the little little, little airplane fly. I'll get it over those trees. Uh, the uh, Mark's email can only handle about eight megabytes of, of video. Yeah. So. Well, what I'll do is uh, edit it? I'm gonna. I always upload my video up to YouTube first. Uh -huh. YouTube will compress it to where it's available to be sent to any email, regardless of the megabytes. It won't chalk down megabytes uh, mm -hmm. because it'll be coming off of YouTube. Okay. You know, you can go to YouTube and watch any video as long as you want, you know. 